Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. Today's lesson, we're going to be covering Excel. We're going to be working with what's called tables in Excel. This is a feature I find a lot of people don't know exist, and it's a really useful feature for creating kind of professional looking reports that you can pass off to a manager. I'm going to put the link down in the description of the website here to my site, Analytics for All, to this table, Excel's table. This is a write-up of what we're going to go over here, so you can go there if you want. Don't want to watch the video games, you want to see the write-up. But the main thing is, I've got here, you can download the exercise file, Excel table, so that way you can follow along without having to recreate your own Excel file, make it a little faster for you. And again, the link will be down in the description. All right, here's my Excel file. we got three columns here. Name, sales, and quarter. Okay, so this is like a standard type of reporting thing you'd get. This is standard sales reporting for the quarter. Uh, got 25 rows. It's not a big file. It's easy to work with. So to build a table, it's very simple. All you want to do is highlight the entire area you want to build the table around. And then you'll hit the control button and T. T is in table. And this create table will appear. And like anything else in Excel, that's your range. You could obviously adjust the range if you want to. Uh, my table has headers I've included because I do have headers. If you don't, don't put that in there. Hit OK. And now you have a table. Okay. So the table automatically gives you some great functionality like sorting and filtering. So I could just filter down to quarter one. Hit OK. And there it is. And I could do this obviously for all the areas fields. I mean, this one's kind of crazy because it's random numbers there and people's names. Okay. So that's standard functionality here. Uh, I know you can add the filter button on regular Excel, but it, 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 number one, you get this, the contrasting color bars, which looks nice, especially in a large financial file with lots of columns. It's Sometimes it's hard to determine which row you're following. This this contrasting color line is very helpful, and it's very common to find in financial reporting. So if you go to work with a finance group, this is the kind of stuff they like to see. All right. The other thing you're going to notice is when you're on the table, you have a new tab called Table Design, okay, which gives you a whole new bunch of features here. One of them I'm going to put in right now is called Total Row. Okay, so we added a new row for total. It gives us a count. 24, because we have 25 rows, but the first row is headers. But right here is kind of cool. You can go down and pick what you want from this. So I'm going to put average, you know, and that gives me the average. I could pick mint, max. I could even pick better functions like your standard deviations and stuff, you know. So it's even got your some interesting statistical functions in there. We'll leave it at average, though. Okay. The next thing, last thing we're going to cover is just adding a slicer. Okay. A slicer is a filter, but it's a nice looking filter. So we go ahead, let's pick name. And here we go. So now we have this cool looking, nice looking professional thing that people can just quickly go through and click on a name. Now you can click on this button up here and you can pick more than one name. Or if you unselect it, you can only use one name. And you can do this to clear all the filters. I know that you can do this without having to build the table function, but what this does is it gives you something very nice looking. This is something you could, you know, it's kind of professional looking. You can hand this off. You can send this report to people to use. And it, it's, you know, slicers are great for like time slice. If I had some, a time feature in here, you could have months. You could have a slider bar across there. This is all available in tables. Again, it's a feature I find a lot of people don't even know exist in Excel. And it's really quick and easy to make a professional looking report that you can pass off to your boss and it looks like you worked a lot harder on it than you did. Okay, that's it for tables. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button to my channel and go ahead and put any comments below. Let me know what other stuff you'd like to work on. And visit my website here, analyticsforall.org. I cover a little bit of everything analytics, all the way from the math behind it to Python. I do some R. I do statistics. I do graphing. I do machine learning. A lot of Excel, uh, and uh, I've even got some jokes and some humor pages on there. Anything you want to add, go ahead and follow me on there. Again, subscribe, like here, and thank you for watching. Talk to you next time.